What's up fellow resellers, this is Jesse the Veteran Flipper. In this video I'm going to show you what's sold and I'm going to show you how to package up a large mare. Let's get in it. All right, back to the storage unit. So I was actually just noticing the Crown Royal mirror over here. I don't believe this one, the width is a little bit longer, so I don't believe that one is is uh, even listed on eBay. I believe that one I'm trying to sell on Facebook and possibly Craigslist, which is still a thing. All right, so, all right, so we're gonna be packaging up a mirror over here. Um, so me and the kids did come to the storage unit yesterday, even though I don't, normally ever work on Sundays but we got um, the majority of our packages um, that are going out today already packaged up so we don't got to worry about it this right here is the mirror that's going to be going out today I'll show you guys how I like to package them up it's a nice uh, coca-cola mirror paid $15 for this and I believe this sold for $150 plus shipping somewhere around there I'll throw the throw the comp up on the screen somewhere and then uh yeah you got this other budweiser mirror right here still listed for sale i do think it's very interesting how people always say like oh this item is going to be very difficult to package or i don't know if i got a box for this and i did say in my last video on how to package larger items on how you can um you know get boxes for free at the dollar general and i've heard people say oh that's a waste of time and i'm telling you right now here i'll show you guys in a second but um behind where i keep this like bag of extra bubble wrap and stuff i have boxes but i have boxes that i specifically use for stuff like these mirrors and i can package these uh i can package these mirrors up you know or larger pictures or whatever and literally just as fast as someone can even package a small item it's definitely good to hold on to boxes like that like i got four boxes that i could use for those i got another one actually over here and then i got other boxes i might be able to use for stuff like that and then i like to have unique shape size boxes down there and then I'll have like some larger boxes, medium sized boxes, and then my smaller boxes over here. All right. That way I got a good variety of boxes to use to, so I'm able to buy and, um, you know, sell and ship out, you know, um, different size items. It makes, it makes things way easier. So, I mean, once you get the hang of it, you know, it's, it's a super easy process to turn down that mirror right there, you know, for $15. It's just, it's insane to me. Like that thing is nothing to storage for me. Literally nothing. I could, I could have put that anywhere. Um, and then on top of that, it's easy for me to package. It's easy for me to list. And same thing. I'm going to make well over a hundred dollars profit, um, from 20 minutes of work. Real quick. I just sold, uh, these two printers literally just now in the last like 20 minutes while recording this video, 20, 25 minutes. I even throw up proof screenshots on, this, on the screen right here. This one sold for $110 uh, free shipping. And I suspect this should cost about $25, $30 to ship out. And then this one sold for $62 free shipping, which is going to cost about $20 to $25 to ship out. A brother and a Canon. I sell printers all the time. If you haven't seen my video on how to ship out larger items, I would consider this one larger. This one, not so much. So I suspect it would be cheaper. And watch that video and I'll show you exactly how to ship out large items like this. All right, we got everything loaded up into the car. And um, it was kind of a tight fit to get everything, but we got everything. So now I'm going to head back to the house and I'm going to show you guys how to package up that mirror. And we'll get everything shipped out. All right, we just got back to the house. I got my, my beautiful little bell right here. We're gonna be sitting in and watching and learning how to package. Isn't that right, little princess? All right, so we got our bubble wrap box. This is our beautiful item that sold. Nice large mirror. All right, I'll throw the dimensions up on the screen because I don't remember what the dimensions are. Um, and we got some tape, all right? So the first thing I like to do, it actually doesn't even involve packaging at all. Um, is I like to dust the item off 
because we don't want to ship out dirty stuff. All right. Yeah, and I just mean like a quick dust off, you know. All right, let's get packaging. All right, so the first thing I like to do is I like to reinforce the sides. I'm going to put them over that. And this is just to make sure the box doesn't bust open. All right. Especially on the side where the box is easily able to split open on the crease in here. You want to do an extra good job there. And then what I like to do is I'll grab my bubble wrap. You know, this right here, just for context, a roll of bubble wrap this size right here is like $7. So for me to use this whole roll, honestly, is not that big of a deal. Um, for me, you just got to look at how much did you pay for the item and, you know, how much are you willing to ship. So I'm going to go long ways this way. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to make, make sure these are long enough because this needs to wrap around the whole mirror. I'm going to put um, a sheet like that going like this way. I'm going to put another sheet here and another sheet here. All right. All right, so now that I got all my bubble wrap laid, I'll simply just set the mirror inside the box and just let everything just kind of push down like so. See, everything slides down. And then you'll take your bubble wrap and you'll just fold it over just like so, just like we did um, in the last video when we shipped out those larger items. And this is how I honestly ship out most items. And because we want this to stay flat, because we don't want to screw ourselves on shipping costs, but we also want to make sure the mirror is um, especially bubble wrapped, especially on the mirrored side, we want to make sure that we're covering that, that mirror. And I've done it like this multiple times. I've shipped out multiple mirrors. I've never had an issue doing it this way. All right. Push those sides down and make sure you don't let the bubble wrap ball up too much because it will change the dimensions and when the dimensions change, it's going to cost you more money. It seems like such a basic thing, but people mess this up all the time. And another thing you can do with uh, this extra space that you got in the corners is you can add some small sheets of bubble wrap, kind of stuff it in there. Like I said, try to get it in there so you're not letting it ball up too much because you don't want to um, change the dimensions too much. And then to secure this bubble wrap in place, I'd like to just add a couple small strips of tape. All right, same thing, do this corner over here. All right, add some bubble wrap to those corners. That way it doesn't, the mirror doesn't crack or anything like that. And then just close up the box and tape it shut. All right, and just like that, our mirror is perfectly secured. I'm telling you, this thing is bubble wrapped very well. You know, like you would literally have to stomp on this thing for this thing to break. All right, everything's very well bubble wrapped. You know, everything looks really good. Now we just gotta put a shipping label on it. All right, so got everything packaged up and ready to be shipped out. Um, I went out of my way to make sure that none of the shipping labels are showing, obviously. I got four packages total going to UPS and a total of eight packages going to USPS. All right, so that's going to do it for this video. If you got anything from this video, please consider dropping a like and please consider subscribing. The Veteran Flipper out.